Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and of course, we're going to continue the uh, series of What's This Signal? And this is going to be multiple types of signals all across the bands, everywhere, and what it is. So this is one example because I'll be on one frequency, but every amateur band has it. This is a question I see quite regularly, actually. People come across something, if you're in AM mode, well, it sounds like this. If you're in sideband, it sounds like this. Well, typically what you've heard is FT8. It's an amateur radio weak signal digital mode, and it is on every amateur band and it's extremely popular so most people will go into frequency ranges and hear nothing but there's going to be FT8 so they stumble upon this weird signal and they're like what is that so typical frequencies of FT8 28074 24, 9, 15, 21, 0, 7, 4, 18, 100, 14, 0, 7, 4, 10, 136, 70, 74, 5, 3, 5, 7, or around this place. Not always, but sometimes. And 80 meters. 35, 74, 73, something like that. And also... Uh, on 160 meters. So uh, it's a very popular digital mode. So that means that you actually will hear this a lot. And that means you will encounter these sounds across the bands. Tell yourself you're in the amateur radio band, first of all. And it is, of course, something called uh, FT8. Now, there are ways to decode this. FT8 can be decoded with software called WSJTX in uh, PCs. It can also be decoded with uh, software on Android and iOS that can be um, also um, installed on apps. One of the biggest, most important things about it is that, first of all, you need to have the accurate time. So when you want to try to decode, especially on Windows, you will want to adjust the date and time, synchronize your t clock. It is a time-based digital mode. And then you'll have to, in this case, there's no audio in, so you'll have to make sure that you choose the correct audio, which will be, in my case, this. And uh, I'll choose about in out. Here we go. And once that is done, usually, if the volume's high enough, There we go. We see some decode here on the upper left. You might not see it very well, but this is decoding of some amateur signals on FT8. If you're using a SDR, if you're using a device that is decoding, um, the radio or the SDR needs to have at least 3,000 
3,000 kilohertz wide bandwidth. So if you're on a portable with multiple bandwidths, at least 3,000, or else you'll miss on some of the signals. That'll show up in the software. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching my videos.